Hello, Sonia Sanchez here. Welcome to the Sonia Show. In a Sonia exclusive, I've learned of a troubling brigade attack that nearly took the life of one of Petria's finest. The victim herself, still traumatized, did not wish to appear on the show. Here tonight is a colleague to shed light on this terrible event. Hello, Officer Shorts, and welcome. Hello, Sonia. Thanks for inviting me. So, do you have any news on the victim? I do. Officer Campbell is doing much better and should be back on patrol any day now. Wonderful news. So, if I understand, an explosive device toppled a billboard which nearly crushed Officer Campbell in her car. Yeah, that's right. These brigades hooked up some kind of small bomb to the billboard and then lured Officer Fanny Campbell there. Horrible. Well, thank you, Officer Shorts, for appearing on our show and keeping Petria safe. Now, let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. As we approach election day, more and more protests are occurring in our fine country. Don't support the violence. Vote for Tyrak. As you know, the Sonia Show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. Let's view today's missing teen report. Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonia Hotline. And that has been the Sonia Show. Oh, thank God you're here, kid. You saw that beautiful limo out there, right? That's Sonya's. You gotta deliver that champagne up to her. Do that, and I'll give you a room, and at a discount. I do it myself, but it doesn't seem, uh, classy. And I fired room service last week. They were doing inappropriate things to the food. Then I tell the cops there's a missing teen in my lobby. Oh, now grab the bottle and get going. Sonya doesn't like to wait. Show, go! The elevator's at the end of the hallway. She's in room 307.
Yes, Sonia. And don't blow this. Yes, Sonia. Jesus Christ, finally. Put it on the table and get the hell out. Wait, you ever take photos? Not that kind, perv. Just get behind the camera and I'll explain. Chop, chop. Don't. Now chop, chop. Okay, here's the scoop. I've sent Adam, my driver, to meet two members of the Black Brigades in the warehouse across the street. While he talks, I want you to take photos. Got it? Because no one's photographed their leader before. It's gonna be a huge story. Down here, you see me? Of course we see you. You got the kid to take me. What do I do if they start asking questions? You keep that trap shut. The kid and I'll tell you what to say through the earpiece. Now we wait. Kid, if you got any questions, any at all, now's the time to ask. Those brigades are probably up to something. What about you, honey? Planning on being at the border for the big day? Oh, Jesus. Another political team? Can I pee, Sonia? It burns. For the hundredth time, no! Okay. I'm going in. Hey there, guys. Hey there, guys. Jesus Christ! Evening, Thelonious. If you say so. Sweetie Pie, take a photo. Let's talk inside. This better be good, Thelonious. We baited them. Felonius there supposedly has important info. Adam! We can't see you! You gotta make them move! Guys, uh, can we go somewhere else? The Feng Shui is off here, right? You're a very strange man. I got a bad feeling about this, R. Relax. We're looking for info on... Nice. With that kid Alex's help, maybe we can take him out. Sir Thelonious, what can you tell us about Tyrek? Okay, honey buns, think fast. Numbnuts needs our help. There's a new pump. Tyrak uh, will be there for the grand opening. Yeah, surrounded by dozens of secret service. That can't be the only thing you have to tell us. Why'd you say that? You know what? I'm out of here. I don't trust you guys. Whoa, whoa. Let's stay cool. Oh, Adam's a trooper. He'll be fine. You're not going anywhere. Tim, search him. He's got an earpiece, R. We need to go. No, we go on the roof. It's time for a more serious discussion. Oh, shut up, kid! Just keep taking photos! Whoever's listening, I sure hope your friend knows how to fly! She's got a camera. I'm gonna count backwards from five. 
If I get to zero and don't have the camera, Thelonious goes over. Got it? Don't you dare give him the camera, honey bunny. That's my story. Five. Four. Three. No! Good choice, kid. Grab the camera, Tim. We're getting out of here. What did you do? He would have wanted you to keep the camera. And to think I was going to make you a junior producer? <laughs> oh, hi, Adam. Hope you're happy with yourself for ruining the story. Sorry, Sonya. Get out of here, sugar. For I tell the cops there's a missing teen in my room. Sonya, I love you. I know, I know. Let's just grab the camera and get out of here. so long well anyway here's a few bucks for your help hope she talks about the blue water on her next show I love sewing you so much Yes? Come home immediately, or your parents will be arrested. We'll catch you, you know. Sooner or later, we'll catch you. Ugh, fine. I guess. Of course I did. Black brigades killed her. Like they did those poor souls in 86.
bitch! With pleasure. You, try! Don't look at us! We're your worst nightmare. That's who we are. Watch it! We're your worst nightmare. That's who we are. Shut up and step on the gas! Our motto not starting outside the laundromat after we rob it. Humiliating. Uh, you think I don't know that, Stan? It's your fault, you know. My fault? Oh, that's rich, Mitch. You know what, Mitch? Maybe you should find another Robin partner. Well, uh, maybe I should. Like this kid. Fine, take the kid. She's clearly a criminal anyway. Hold on, hold on. Before we end the best Robin duo ever, let's take a deep breath. Yeah, we shouldn't rush into this. This is big. I know. Let's put the radio on. It'll help us forget about the laundromat. Good idea. You're... A laundromat robbery happened about an hour ago. Ah, oh, jeez. Witnesses say the two robbers, both dressed like they were into S&M role-playing, argued the entire time. Though the suspects only made off with $72 in quarters, they are said to be armed and very dangerous. If you see them, please call the police immediately. We're laughing stocks. And Sonya reporting it, no less. Oh, jeez. Well, I guess that's it. Stan and Mitch are breaking up. Go on and partner up with the kid. Yeah, I guess that's it. Wow. Only one thing left to do. To be sure this is the right move, and I'll give the kid Mitch's ultimate bank robin quiz. Yeah. Four questions by which Mitch evaluates your criminal mind. Get enough questions right, and you and Mitch become Robin partners. But don't? Then Mitch and I have to... Uh, I don't want to spell it out. Question number one. Of the following, what is the best location to rob? The clock is, uh, ticking. Yeah, that's the right answer. Though jealous, I will admit, I am very impressed. Question number two. When is the best time to rob? Yeah, that is the best time to rob. Visibility is low, and mysteriousness is high. Question three. What is the best getaway vehicle? Nope, because it's kind of... Well... Expected. Yeah, expected. That's strike one! Question four. The final question. What is the best thing to do with your money at your hideout? best thing to do. We need to not explain why, for obvious reasons. Wow, the kid.
kid passed. Uh, no, I've never even passed it. And it's my quiz. So I guess you and the kid are gonna partner up now, eh? Stan, hold on. Yes, Mitch? Though, the kid and I's Robin compatibility is through the roof. No doubt. I cannot imagine Robin with anyone but you. Nor I, Mitch. Nor I. Remember the Super Supper? What a robbery that was. I'm glad we kept the pig as a souvenir. Come on, let's keep the car. Uh, and ditch the kid. Sounds good to me, Mitch. You hear something, Mitch? I did not, Stan. Stan and Mitch! Okay. <laughs>
Welcome aboard, kid. A couple of weeks now, but it feels longer than that. You? Hmm. Are you frightened? I know it's tough, but try not to think about it. What you should do now is rest, if you can. You'll feel better. Awake, eh? He got off while you were asleep. Yeah, hey, fine by me. Tire. Just some car trouble, kid. What are you doing out here? I can't believe you just told me that. Now, come here. You know attempted border crossing is illegal. You're under arrest. Unit 2 to Central. Got a flat and a border crosser in my car. You copy? Fanny to Central. Do you copy? Great. Now the radio isn't working. Be thankful you're not, okay? And keep that trap shut. Ah, oh, come on! Quiet, kid. Fine. What do I have to lose? Get out here, kid. But don't try and run away. You'll regret it. Believe me. Oh, yeah? Then have at it, kid. What are you? A tire whisperer?
Hey, don't stop there. The pump's behind. You know, you remind me of my son. He's always fixing things. Always breaking things, too. Here. Thanks a lot, kid. Gotta say, I'm impressed. Just my luck. Come on, follow me. Yes? Make sure you're not at the border that day, okay? I can see the brigades trying something like an 86. All right, kid, noted. You could say that, yeah. You could definitely say that. With you? Hmm. That's all right. No offense. Yeah, maybe you're right. It's just that my son, my adopted son, ran away. I... I knew something that he didn't. A secret. And when I told him, he got upset. They really can be. You're right. I told him who his biological parents were. Or as much as I know about them anyway. I always told him I didn't know. I was lying. It was hard on him too because of who they were. They were members of the Black Brigades. Yeah, I guess it is. You know about the attack in 86, right? That's the day I met my son. Kid, I'm a police officer. Don't believe the conspiracies. I was working security, hired to protect Iraq at the wall's opening ceremony. Everything was going fine until it wasn't. I barely saw the truck before it crashed into the mountain. Just a flash. Next thing I knew, rocks were falling on the crowd. It was awful. You have no idea. The screams. Everything was just so terrible. At some point, I, I looked down and there was my son, silent, covered in dust, looking up at me. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I, I picked him up and brought him home with me. I just had to make sure he was going to be safe. I had to. I looked in the papers for months after, searched the missing children reports every day. There was nothing. It's not unusual for brigades to cut ties with family. I do. What other explanation is there? I, I guess I deserve all this. I kept the truth from my baby. I thought it would hurt him. It did. But part of me didn't tell him because I was jealous that I wasn't his real mother. I hope so. Central to Unit 2, do you copy? Over. I should get that. Just promise me something. Turn around and go home, okay? Your parents miss you.
did. So sad. Things like this don't happen in other countries, do they? In a holding cell near the border. They brought you in last night. They beat you. That's why. But it should come back soon. No, there are other cells here. Guys, say hello! Hey! hey. A guy called the cops on me at a gas station. There was another teen there. Must have been arrested too but taken in a different car. Uh, too long. I just want to get it over with. Getting transferred to the pits. Well, you know, that's where crosses end up, isn't it? friend's been chosen for a new treatment. We'll turn him into a good teenager yet.
Do I... do I know you? What are they doing? They know we're in here, right? Stop that! Get your hands up! Stop! The prison van has just been flipped over. Go, go, get him out! Everybody, to the wall! Where the hell is Robert? Big John, did you see Alex? You saw Alex? Where is he? At the wall. Kid, come with me. I gotta find some more. This way, young blood! Probably used a code you wouldn't know. I have an idea. Young blood, try 6682. You sure? Hurry! It worked! But how'd you know? That was the code of the first bomb. Your birthday. First bomb? My. my birthday? Your mom and dad, Alex. Naomi and Steven. They built it, and used the most important day of their lives as the code. We were gonna use it, but there was a problem at the last moment. That's when Connie and I tried to take Tyrak out in the truck. We'd worked too hard to come up empty-handed, but we missed, and Tyrak detonated the explosives on the peak. And my parents were killed. Yes. And Connie. And so many others that day. Why didn't you tell me this sooner, John? I thought it'd radicalize you. Push you to build the bomb. And... I... didn't want you to hate me. Hate you? If I had killed Tyrak... your parents would still be alive. They made their choices, Mr. Yu. They put themselves in that position. That's not on you. Thanks for saying that, kid. Now come on! Let's... Uh, whoa. Don't move! Hands up and turn around! Slowly! Hands up, I said! Mom! Don't shoot! Alex? Your mom's a cop? Get out of here, Alex. That voice... Wait... Papa Bear? <sighs> no! You... know each other? Yeah! Turns out I've been chatting on the CB with the very person I was after. Well, it's not great for me either. The woman I love being a cop and everything. <laughs> love. Yeah. Love. Ha! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Listen, I'm sorry I stood you up. I chickened out. You think I care about that now? My mom and Mr. Ursus were gonna go on a date? My mind is gonna explode. I told you, get out of here! Listen to your mom. So, how do you know each other again? I did some work for the brigades, for info on my bio parents. John knew them. Yeah, right. It's the truth. My girlfriend and I were friends with Alex's parents. Your girlfriend? She died in 86. I've been trying to protect Alex. You gotta believe me. It's true, Mom. John wasn't using me. He was trying to protect me. Look, I screwed up. I became a part of something that turned bad. Not a day goes by that I don't regret it. But I'm a different person now. I want to be with you. I'm a cop, and you're a wanted criminal. Forgive me, but I don't see how that could work. 
Mom, look around. Things are happening. Change is happening. Give John another chance. He screwed up, but we all make mistakes. You, for instance. Me? Yeah, I mean, come on, Mom. You know what Tyrek is doing to teens. I... I do. Yes. You really want to keep working for a government that does that? No. I haven't wanted to do my job for a long time now. But I did it. For you. Well, you no longer have to, Mom! Now please, lower your gun! We can cross together. There's nothing keeping us here. We can leave! Mom... What do you think? Kid, you can come if you want. Supporters on the other side of the wall have broken through and are now fighting the border forces with the brigade. Could this be it? Is the revolution really happening? <laughs> Now might be a good time to go, sir. The uprising that started that day spread to most of Petria, ensuring a fair, democratic election. Floris won by a landslide and promised to repeal much of what Tyrak had done. Tyrak was arrested and tried for his crimes. The iron pits were closed and the wall came down as well. Though it's far too early to tell what the future of my country holds, for the first time in many years, there is hope. And that, at the very least, is a good place to start. Oh, 